Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're gonna be fishing the and you know, hopefully we catch us some fish. Last time we were here we got halibut, turbot, a few small spotted bass. Uh, we also got yellowfin croaker and a corbina that I didn't catch on camera that we ended up making a really yummy uh, Chick-fil-A fish sandwich. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. But before we actually got to go fishing, we had to pump these ghost shrimp for bait. And the ones we were catching varied from one and a half to two inches, mainly two inches. And I think the scale goes from like one to three or even four inches. But they make these holes, which makes them extremely easy to spot. And then you know exactly where to stick your shrimp pump and pump them out. And today was absolutely magical shrimp pumping. And we had, I don't know, 50 shrimp that we could fish with. And here I even got four shrimp in a single pull. Now that we have enough bait, I think it's time to start fishing. And once we started, it was just lit up. This is a small spotted bass and we promptly got the hook out and let this guy swim away. And this is like the smallest halibut I've ever seen. Right there, I think I was hooked on a huge corbina that just absolutely snapped my line. This fish is a yellowfin croaker and it ended up being the biggest fish of the day. This is a halibut and it ended up giving me like a really bloody good fight. It ended up being like I think 14 inches and I got a really cool shot of him swimming away. Here my friend Mike hooked a small spotted bass, and it was really pretty, lots of spots, and we ended up getting the hook out of him in like record time. And another one. I can never seem to get him on camera, and it shouldn't be that hard because the dude hooks a hell ton of fish. But here, he hooked another decent halibut. And another one. The spotties were all over today. And here, even my dog was interested in the spotted bass. One interesting thing about spotties is that they always go to your feet when you release them. And it's kind of scary, especially when you don't know it's coming.
This next fish here is called a turbot, and it's also a flatfish, meaning it sits on the bottom and waits for food to come to it. It's also similar to a halibut because it's also white on the bottom, but the thing that differentiates halibut and turbot is that turbot have these purple spots on the top and halibut are sort of just brown and blotchy. I had to speed up all the footage of me reeling or else the video would have been like close to 40 minutes or something like that and nobody wants to watch that. I forgot to start recording here but this is another yellowfin croaker and I think it's even bigger than the first one I caught. This is another halibut, and I think it was the biggest fish of the second day of fishing. And we ended up having to cut the line because he swallowed the hook, but the hook will eventually rust out and he'll be fine. After we let this guy go, we're going to pop right back into the kitchen and begin the cooking of the corbina that I, of course, didn't catch on camera. Now that we're back in the kitchen, the first step is to fillet your fish. Once you're done doing that, you're going to soak the fish in pickle juice for 30 minutes. While you let that soak, you're going to prepare the dry ingredients for the fish batter. First, one cup of flour. Next, three teaspoons of powdered sugar. Two teaspoons paprika. One tablespoon cracked pepper. One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon baking powder. After that, use a whisk to stir all ingredients until they're all mixed. After that's all whisked, you're going to start to prepare the wet ingredients for the fish batter. First, crack one large egg into a dish. Then add two cups of milk. After that, you're going to whisk until smooth. After both the dry and wet ingredients are prepared, you're going to go into dipping the fish into both of them. First into the egg. Then to flour. And back to egg. And then flour again. And you'll repeat that process for all of the pieces of fish. After you're done with that, you're going to heat up a pan with about a quarter inch of oil and put all of the pieces of fish in and watch it sizzle. While we wait for that to cook, we're going to create the famous Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh yeah, and don't forget to flip the fish when it's golden brown on the underside. First, you're going to need half a cup of mayo, one teaspoon Dijon, three teaspoons yellow mustard, two teaspoons barbecue sauce, half a teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon paprika, two teaspoons honey, one squeeze of lemon, and stir until it looks like Chick-fil-A sauce. After that, spread some on your toasted bun. After that, take your golden brown fish and put it on the bun and enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. I 
That's good. That's really good. As always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe and like this video, because I'm kind of new to this, and it'd really help me out if you did that. And we'll see you on the next one.